back into the studio in the form of Gibbon Makubela and founder of eLabbine. Gibbon, welcome to the show. Hi, thanks. I'm, yeah, I'm happy to be here. I'm Fantastic to be here. And you've got a gang of supporters here in the form of Simpiwe and you've got uh, uh, Portia yes. who, uh, who are with you. We're not going to speak, they're just going to do mimes in the back of the studio. <laughs> <laughs> we'll video them and, and what's that about two hours first. Yeah. Um, uh, Portia does your PR work, I believe, for, yes. for Elabine. Yes. And um, you're a self-taught programmer in a variety of programming languages and the, the developer of Elabine, the Edu platform. Yes. And 2017 winner of the Impact Hub Peer Award. Yes. Tell me about the Impact Hub Impact Hub Peer Award. Uh, Impact Hub Peer Award was uh, was the like uh, uh like it, it was a, like a, a launchpad competition like right. uh, something like an incubator an incubator whereby like uh they choose like the uh, uh, the person or a team which was was developing was best uh what was at it, its best level so they they choose based on that so. We were like to be the, the one on that. So are you, because you don't look like one, are you a confessed, self-confessed geek? I mean, are you a geek? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not a geek. I'm just a normal person. <laughs> I'm a little bit a geek. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're a geek with character and personality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like accountants, they actually yeah. some have personality. Swag. Yeah, you, you can see that. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. How did you get into the world of, of coding and programming? Oh, uh, basically, um, I, I started by doing like silly stuff uh, first, and and uh, being uh, being where I'm at, like I started by failing at school, so uh, that's how I developed uh, what uh, the platform I developed. So I I was failing a lot, and I saw that I have a problem on that. So I, I developed an application that can can help me. So uh, I like uh, to 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 turn it into a business. I used to sell it to, to my fellow classmates and they were buying it and I saw like a business side of things from there. Then from there, I developed all of the platform and I took it to the market. You do know that Richard Branson, Sir Richard Branson, never got a school leaving certificate. Really? <laughs> really? Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 A special man. He was actually dyslexic. And, no, um, no, I, yeah. you know, amazing person. Yes. And, and he said something interesting. He said, true entrepreneurs never set out to make money. He said they set out to do something Nobody else has ever done before, <laughs> or do something better than anybody else. Has yes, done. yeah. As a consequence of that, they make money. Yeah. The, oh, oh, the, the reason why, why uh, that led me to 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 making money it is because I was going to districts and also Department of Education. So the the, the, the first question that they asked me, they said, uh, "How does it make money?" So it gave me a problem in terms of development and taking it forward. So mm -hmm. that, that that what uh, really pushed me like to develop it like as it is today, like really. So tell me about the the uh, edu um, the e lab and edu program. It's focused on on maths and science. Yes, yes. It's, yeah. Is that for for grade 11s and 12s or all the way through? Or, or? it's for high school uh, levels. It's high school levels. Yes, okay. it's for high school yeah. levels. We're doing maths and sciences also maths and physics. So are you quite a wizard at maths? No, no, I'm, 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 not, I'm, I'm good in developing algorithms that can solve mess problems. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a lot harder like than maths. Yeah, like <laughs> like, so you need maths. Come so on. Uh, <laughs> when you have algorithms, right? <laughs> <laughs> and um, the, it's such an important area, you know. The, yeah. I think that we've gone through a period of time in South Africa, particularly, where in and through the, let's call it, dysfunctional education system process that we've yeah. seen, which has been really tragic. And yeah. Situations where school books weren't available and, and, and insufficient teachers and all the rest of it. And there seems to have been almost like a dilution yeah. of the imp imperative and importance of maths and science. And the reality is, is that you actually really need maths and science, yes, actually, particularly yeah. for the key professional pursuits and degrees and the, you know, yes. whatever it may be. Yes. So lovely to see that that's been focused on in this in and through this journey yeah yeah because uh i, I yeah I, you, you are right like uh you said it all so so how does it actually work is it in the form of an app is it a platform is it in the cloud how does it actually work it, it, it's a platform so it's in the cloud so okay. uh let's say you are a student and you have you have, you have problem in maths or physics so you just look uh, you just go to the website www dot, dot, dot a it's uh, the, the website it's edu dot so on the platform you'll uh, you'll register as a new user 
or you log in if you're an existing uh, user. Then from there you choose uh, which subject you want to you want to solve it, like the, the scenario. So uh, let's say uh, it's functions. You go to functions, maths functions. Then you put all that scenario you're given. Then after putting it, then it solves for you the the, the, uh, the, the the scenario step by step. It gives you the solution. Mm -hmm. So reason why it gives you the solution, I've noticed. Uh, the time I was I was in school, uh, most of the platforms they were offering content, and content it, it is important, but it, it does not give you that that uh let me say that uh path of understanding how mm. things are solved. So by by finding like a, a solution to to any problem, then you, you can you can develop like a special way to solve problems, like uh, using like like uh yeah. We really understand but that. Well, that's okay. amazing. I I think I remember from being in school. The textbooks that we used to use would give you the the scenario yes. and then at the back of the textbook it would just give you the final answer it wouldn't yes. show you the logical path yes. to finding the answer so yes. i think that's really amazing because i think um that really helps people learn yes. in terms of seeing the logical path to the answer yes Yes, like I think uh, the, the the wrong thing behind that is not uh give it is not the application giving you answer. It's the application explaining it to you how how you actually the process uh, yeah the process of going to the answer. That that's really important rather than getting the actual answer and not understanding anything. Well, so you see, we live in an age and an increasingly so an age of it's no longer about ownership. It's about access. Yes. So if you even look at things like like Uber, for example. You look at Airbnb. Yes. Here's here are two um, international massive entities. Yeah. Uber doesn't have a fleet of cars. Yeah. Airbnb don't own any properties. Yes. Yet they provide people the access to properties and to motor vehicles. I'm meeting more and more people, executives and other people, yes. who no longer own vehicles. Yes. They travel via Uber. Yes. Um, as an as an example, not yes. that it's an exclusive channel, but it's a channel of, of, of transport that people can use. Yes. And and more and more so in terms of information, there's so much information. Yes. To to try and get into the process historically of the school schooling system of, of learning by rote, and then having to regurgitate it in an exam to show how much you remember, is not actually relevant anymore. How much you remember is not important. Yes. It's how much you can access it and utilize that information really quickly yes. in the context of where you are. Yes. That's the type of learning that we need to have in, 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 in moving forward. Yeah, we already do because, yeah, m m like, uh, content now is irrelevant. I don't want to lie, like, really, it's irrelevant. Actually, uh, having, like, uh, a, 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 a speci uh, like that special way to solve problems, it is, it is all, like, uh, something each and every one needs now to do. Like in life, everybody everybody needs that skill to to be able to solve any problem they they they, they face. So that, that, that's what we're planning to, to provide. Mm. Fantastic! Yeah, you tune into risky business in the exponential world here on Mix ninety three point eight FM. Forty minutes past seven o'clock. I'm your host Brian Hutting with you up until nine o'clock this evening. I have in the studio with me Given Makubela, who is the founder of Elabine, and I have Leanne Muller, who is the executive head of Digital Leadership Solutions from Suncan and Piper Some Music and also got to have a few words from the sponsors. So we'll let them have their say first and then I'll come in and uh, play some.